Mike Trout here in sunny Japan. And I'm getting rid of getting rid of my truck. So I can take the kids around Japan, hunt and kill the hornets, sell my amazing omelets and yogurt. Um, basically become self-employed and also be able to work on battle houses by having a truck that has power and everything else and an area to sleep in. Innovation for Found ups, and this is our micro eco found up food truck. Kind of a mouthful. Basically, what it is is a truck with solar panels that is powered um, and it allows me to cook and sell our found up products and brands. So, this is the latest innovation that I just did. Right here is a foldable table. So, uh, basically, the boys can sit here use the table as a sit down, right? as a computer or whatever, do their homework where I can, uh, write a letter, email, and then ultimately it folds down and I can use it for a coffee maker or for a blender um, as I make stuff around here and I can have a cooler and stuff just for this here. Um, I've got shelving and stuff that goes in there that I can show, I've, I've done shown around videos. And ultimately what's cool about this table is it just comes down, even though it's kind of hard to do it with one arm. Okay. Folds down like that. Okay, so it folds down. And ultimately I had to create this bit here, this little sliding bar. Something I just I, I bent some metal over I had. Um, only because this is meant for hanging so it automatically when I pull down it unlocks it so by having this on here simple solution it kind of locks the elbow so even if someone it can't it can't close right it's impossible it's pretty hard metal so for it to uh, lock you bring it down here okay I got to slide this up here let's get this out of the way there is the table. It's probably gonna have to probably gonna make rattle and stuff. I have to fix that. What's what's making the noise? It's not a big issue to fix. Um, and ultimately, what I'm probably gonna do is drill a hole in this corner right here, and this fan is gonna sit right in there. It's gonna give me or the back, or I'll have a fan blowing hot air out of here the smell or whatever, maybe right here, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, I guess right here, because when this table's up too, the fan is still there, operational. This project is funded by our amazing stakeholders on foundups.com, um, who support me innovating solutions for helping to save our planet. All the solutions I create are basically open source to our foundup stakeholders, so if you are a stakeholder, then you can make your own foundup truck, you can the brand found ups, you can make your own videos like I do, you can use found ups. All I ask is this is that 80% of any net profits, after you pay yourself your own salary and everything else, goes back into launching, scaling, or supporting more found ups. Number two, you will not participate uh, with your corporation in supporting political campaigns. So let's say you become the next Google or Facebook because your found up idea happens, and ultimately in your articles in corporation, you say you, you are basically. Um, net neutral. You are not, you don't have any opinion and you will not influence any lobbying. We need to get our corporations out of politics. We need to leave politics for the people. And ultimately, we need corporations who take their profits instead of paying a few stakeholders, launching more solutions for helping save our planet. That's the only way we're going to save our planet. So, if you like what I'm doing, you can always go to foundups.com, you can contribute, you can become a stakeholder, you can launch your own foundups. Um, your franchise is simply becoming a stakeholder. Once you become a stakeholder, you can do anything you want as long as it's legal with found ups. Thanks. My name is Mike Trout. Thanks for watching.